having fish in an ornamental pool at home adds real sparkle. And having fish in an aquaponic system, well, that's, that's the reason for being. But fish are particularly susceptible to stress and moving them to their new home is one of those major forms of stress. This is how they come from the shop. This has got compressed air blown into here and it's nicely sealed with a very solid rubber band. Now, if you've got more than an hour's travel, it's worth investing in one of these little battery powered aerators. So this one you can actually power out of the cigarette lighter in your car. Now, talking of cars reminds me of an exercise where I was taking a pile of fish home. I stopped halfway to get my tax done, got home and the fish, gonzo. Place the bag on top of the water in the new home and leave it there for at least five minutes. This helps to equalise the temperatures. Then open the bag and allow the fish to swim out. Don't feed your fish for at least a day or even two and then just very sparingly make sure that each portion is eaten before adding another. All fish, including these silver perch, enjoy a cover so that the predators can't get to see them. In the garden you can use water lilies. Here in this aquaponic system we've got a floating coriander pot and that will help. Now, the idea behind the system is the excretia from the fish dissolved in the water is circulated through these beds and the plants take out that nutrient, they grow on that, and at the same time they clean the water so the fish can thrive down here. <laughs>